what I like least about poker as a living is the, is the process of getting into games. I, I just want to play. And, and back when games were plentiful online and, and you didn't have to contend with seating scripts and you could just join and play great games kind of whenever you wanted, uh, it was, I loved it. It's just focused on playing. The toughest thing about playing poker for a living is um, just staying sharp, you know, especially if you want to progress and like move up in stakes and make more money. Like you just have to work extra hard and combining that with tough travel schedules and just the stress of winning and losing a lot of money and what that can do to just, you know, your health and your lifestyle. Uh, so just managing all those things and being a balanced person and uh, like continuing to prog progress. I think the hardest thing about playing poker for a living really is um, dealing, well, actually there's two things. I, I, I think dealing with the like the ups and downs emotionally not necessarily financially but the like you know the building of your self-confidence when you start doing well you you're you're feeling on top of the world and then when you know especially being a tournament player downswings are just inevitable in tournaments you know it's and it, it's very difficult to disassociate your mind from results versus you know how your ability uh, the other part is just the obsession of poker. It's very difficult to stop, stop studying, stop watching things, stop playing. You know, there's a time where you just need to just go, you know, had to take a few days. And that's difficult because there's always poker so open-ended. There's always a game. There's always a site to log on and play. There's always work to do. There's always solves to run. Um, so it's very difficult to just turn it off for a while. There are many elements that make playing poker a hard way to make a living. Uh, the confidence thing is really, really tough. It's, it's really difficult to gauge where you stand with your competition without um, or a large sample size, and that's something that's near impossible to do in live poker. So it's, it's pretty hard to get beat down and continue to pick yourself up and maintain that confidence. So that, that's one thing. Life balance is really, really difficult. Um, you can see it a lot with degenerates. Like, there are a lot of great poker players that are just full-blown gambling degenerates because it is something that you can just immerse yourself into and and use it as a channel to escape from reality. So it's kind of hard to dedicate enough of your time to be an elite player, and on the flip side, be able to step away from that, uh, detach yourself emotionally from a long day's work, and try to be a normal person around loved ones and be balanced. Uh, so that that's probably the most difficult part. The thing I find toughest about playing poker for a living is that there is always a game to be played and money to be made and sometimes it's tough to separate that from everything else that's going on in your life. I think the toughest part of being a professional poker poker player is uh, to keep it, you know, good uh, rhythm, get some good sleep, uh, uh, eat well and, uh, you know, stay healthy because it's, it's not uh, as easy always when you have tournaments and stuff. The toughest thing about playing poker probably are the, the losing streaks and not not taking it personal <laughs> because it's not not the world against you it's just you know numbers and uh, it takes a little bit to, to learn that um, and I know people who after 10 years haven't learned it so it, it must be really hard, uh, but for me it was uh, maybe two or three years where I had to grind through around. I started uh, nearly full time 2006 and then until 2010 I still had uh, um, problems getting over losing streaks and um, usually I just uh, take a month off and then come back to, to overcome it, but that's the difficult part. Mm -hmm.